Yeah, guys, in my hands here, I have what's called a bill of lading. It's basically a manifest. Now, the suspects used a fake one to get that truckload of flat screen TVs. Now, who was driving that truck is a mystery tonight. There was a forged bill of lading, um, so similar to a manifest. Um, and after they basically showed up to the distribution center in Fort Worth with it, um, and then their truck got loaded with the, with the quantity of TVs. Officer Sternberg says he got a call from the Loss Prevention Center, which deals with retail theft. A security vice and one of the stolen TVs was pinging in the Moore area. The business that I ended up locating it at, I had um, intel with just previous dealings that it was dealt with import and export for large semis. He found the trailer in this area, just off of I-35. And when he looked inside... I was full to the back. Um, there was a manifest inside that there was a quantity of 120. Um, that's pallets, and I believe there was upwards of four to seven uh, TVs per pallet. So he told us whoever put this plot together knew what they were doing. They had to know what the shipping paperwork looked like in order to create fake documents. By the time staff at the warehouse in Fort Worth realized what happened, it was too late. They were alerted um, by the false paperwork shortly after, but by that time, the semi had already crossed over to Oklahoma. Um, and that's when the ping started getting in and they started tracking it. Officer Sternberg doesn't think this was a solo act and it's possibly part of a larger organized crime ring. I don't believe it would be an individual. Um, I, would, I, would, I would go on to say that it's probably a large organizational thing. Um, we're not talking one, we're talking several. But one thing is for sure, it was an expensive truck. They gave us the value amount at upwards of $300,000. Um, the shipment was destined for, I believe, New Jersey to Costco. Now, more police told me they did not find the driver of the truck when they found that trailer. However, the TVs have been returned to their original company. In more, Jason Berger, KOCO 5 News.